much fun. Yo, what is up people? How are you guys doing? It's 4 a.m. in the morning right now. I had to wake up early because I need to install these on my specialized pitch 27.5. Uh, these came from my James portal, but you know my James portal is already dismantled right now because I'm moving all the parts from my James frame to the new carbon frame that I got. So anyway, this is uh, this is a Shimano MT500. Okay, so on my last video, I told you guys that I'm gonna install a Shimano M6100, and I actually did uh, install those brakes on the bike, but for some reason, when I was testing it, the reservoir started leaking, so I returned that brakes. Uh, to the to the seller and uh, the seller was actually nice enough to you know to fix the problem so instead of uh, getting uh, a 6100 I ended up upgrading to a Shimano SLX uh, I think this is a 7100 so here we go but this is not going to the, to the, uh, to the specialized this is going to my um, to my new build to the carbon frame build so basically old brakes going to the hardtail new brakes Go into the new build. So, yeah, let's unpack this real quick. Came with bleeding blocks and barb and olives and all the bolts. Let's check it out real quick before we actually install the old brakes to the to the hardtail. I upgraded to the to the SLX because of this this little knob right here. Pretty cool. Should go to the front. Nice. By the way, I only paid one hundred and thirty-five dollars for this. So, if you guys are wondering how come this is not in a box yeah i paid cheap so <laughs> yep slx cool all right nothing special it's just <laughs> another brakes And just like that, the project bike is finally completed. Brakes are finally installed, nice looking hardtail, Shimano SLX drivetrain, good enough for a budget build, Shimano MT500 old hydraulic brakes, RockShox forks, looking good, and I put this uh, XT pedals right here to match my FLR clipless pedal shoes, yellow, green, and red socks, dropper seat post, working pretty good. This bike is ready to go. Let's don't forget to drink and uh, yeah, let's hit the trails. This is gonna be rough. 100 millimeters up front, no suspension on the rear. Yeah, it's gonna be, I can feel it already. <laughs> Let's 
trail is pretty loose as usual. Oh gosh! <laughs> that was rough. This is basically my first proper hardtail mountain bike. And so far, I actually like it. Little punchy climbs, feels good. Woo! Nice, brakes working real good. Nice! <laughs> it's really good on climbing. <laughs> nice. Oh, loose, loose. Yeah, yeah. Deers. Here goes another quick climb. Oh yeah. This bike climbs better than my Jameis. <laughs> Another punchy climb with roots. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. This bike is not bad. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I love this bike already. It's pretty rough, but I think it's actually fun like that. The handlebars are a little narrower too, 740 millimeters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here comes the cobblestone climb. This climb is pretty, pretty steep and slippery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Easy money. Easy money. <laughs> wow. Not so bad. And then roots. I notice I'm slowing down on the roots. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Woo! That was fun. My chest strap is killing me already. My chest strap and my heart rate monitor basically pinching my chest. <laughs> it's hard to make these videos, you know? This trail will be super awesome if it's not like it's not loose all the time.
Oh gosh. <laughs> so much fun. Oh. Yeah, it's time to climb again. Ah. I probably need to run the rear tire a little lower because right now it is pretty it's pretty tough I got a cush core in the house it's a 27.5 so yeah I'm gonna install it on this bike run lower pressure at the back and hopefully hopefully that helps I think 100 millimeters up front is, is okay. Not too bad. It's just the rear. There's no suspension whatsoever. That's one little out of shape ride. And guess what? This bike, this bike is pretty fun. I love it. Whew. Sweet. <laughs> 